Greetings from Planet Sheen. Today's video is a little bit different because I went outside of my house today and realized how peaceful it was. The serenity of it. The scenery. The scenery of it. It was all very, very pleasing to me. And I wanted to share how pleasing of an experience it was to walk out there with you. You might be thinking to yourself, Sarah, why do I care about your backyard? And I would tell you that it used to look like this. even the worst of it. My boyfriend has more pictures he's going to be sending me so that I could add them to this video. I might, I don't know if I will because it's already enough photos, but if he sends me the worst of the worst, I'm going to add them at the end of this video. The people that were living here just were not taking care of the house whatsoever. They lived here for at least six years, never dusted, never vacuumed. Something exploded in the kitchen. I don't know, it looks like spaghetti underneath all of the cupboards. Is truly just a mess. Her animals used the bathroom in the house. They had chickens living in the basement. Yes, again, in the basement. There was a whole room dedicated to their living quarters with hay on the floor. We, we had to clean all that up. They left the house as it was. They knew that they needed to clean it up or things were going to be done. We weren't involved in any of that. We just know what happened being up to us moving in since we were the ones having to clean everything out but it was quite the summer project but quite a blessing blessing at the end because sometimes big dreams take hard work even if that means scraping old poop and dried piss off the floor from somebody else's dogs and animals we've bleached a million times we've cleaned as much as possible we have cleaned clean clean for a year until it was finally inhabitable back in March. We just finally moved in. It's finally, the smells are gone. It feels like a fresh, clean home. Tore out the bathroom. I don't even need to get into why we tore out the bathroom. You probably already know why we had to tear out the bathroom and put a whole new one in. But I could do a video on that if you're interested. Like and comment below if you want to know about the bathroom. This backyard has come a very long way though. They had rabbit cages out there. They had rabbits living in the backyard with pens that they had built themselves and those were out in the backyard. Oh my god, there was tons, tons of metal and stuff. They had tons of metal. There was an extra shed that used to be back there that we ended up tearing down and getting rid of because there was no use for it. And it smelled like piss, full of hay. Again, I don't know what was living in there. Now they had this kennel built for their dogs which I don't agree with at all. I thought this was the most absurd thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I guess I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. Call PETA, I guess. But these people genuinely had a fence put outside with children's, toddlers, playhouses. I had one of these houses as a kid. I couldn't believe it was being used as a doghouse. And these dogs had dug holes underneath these playhouses, doghouses, for what purpose? I, I don't know, I don't know, but there are giant holes in the ground where these houses were that I'm pretty sure the dogs had dug after time because it didn't look like somebody took a shovel and like dug it out themselves. It was, it was unbelievable. We're still cleaning up trash out of the yard. I mean, there's just random pieces of trash. There's random pieces of broken toys. There's plastic, there's paper, there's metal nails. There's all kinds of different things that are just scattered around the house where it looks like somebody went to take the trash out, things fell, dropped, and they went, belongs to the earth now. So it was an absolute mess, but this house has come up very long and far away. So if you're interested in the progress and the things that we're going to do coming along in the future, please make sure you subscribe and follow along because there is still plenty more to do, but nothing too major. All of the painting and most of the remodeling has been done. There's just this room that hasn't had a lot of like painting done to it. Um, it's clean and everything, I just, I would like to replace the floor in here and I might do something with the walls just to spice up, get rid of all this white possibly, but the game room too, our gaming room is going to need something done with it as well. I just got done cleaning that up yesterday and it was clean before, 
but not only was there a bunch of stuff in there being used for storage, he actually ended up sanding this floor in the hallway with along with the steps uh, about a month ago to try to brighten up the color of it because the wood color was a little dark. And we did that, stained it with the color we wanted, and it actually turned out going back to the original color we tried staining off. So I don't know how that happened, but... So there was sanding dust everywhere, which is what I spent most of my time cleaning and vacuuming in the game room video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. I'm finally gonna stop rambling about this house. I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it, just show you what we've got going on so far outside. Here's our update so far, and here are plans that I have in mind. Here's the update so far, backyard transformation. Here's how things have come so far. Here I am, just taking a little roundabout stroll outside in the wilderness. So that rabbit thing was right here that I was talking about. And here's the backyard so far. That little garage over there is, doesn't belong to us, that's the neighbors. We put all these extra rocks out around, built up the fireplace. All that hay is where we planted grass. There's grass planted over here now as well. Now here we used all these extra rocks from the side of the house to build up the fireplace, put them alongside the patio here. Here's my balanced little stack of rocks. I'm really proud of that thing. Really withstood some storms that we had. So lost the other two. Here's the rest of the rocks. A lot of rocks that we had. Tried to get some landscaping businesses to come pick them up just for free because we didn't want them and they wouldn't take them. So we figured out something to do with them. Here, we'll go over here. This is all the new grass. This. There was a hot tub in this. Now, there was a guy that lived here before the hoarders. He had a hot tub and he did all this nice work. So, now it's all gone to shit, of course. So, I'm going to plant some succulents in here. And we're going to hang hammocks inside because we do not own a hot tub. and probably won't anytime soon. So, here's where all the new grass will come in. This little section is where all those extra rocks came from. Why they chose to stuff that thing with boulders i don't know here's where the fountain was earlier in this video i showed a clip there was a little fountain there that was disgusting and needed to go so we tore that out uh here is a here's a quick little view there's a little bench that we got super cute here's the baby oh look at him enjoying the sunshine beautiful beautiful patio porch backyard the birds there's Little little birds will come by. I've seen cardinals, blue jays. Oh, new grass. New grass coming in looking good. Feels soft, too. We just bought these trees from Amazon. And most of them we planted uh, six, I believe. And there's one left over. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't count well. So they're all planted back here. Uh, so that we can have a little privacy from these neighbors. Um, and hopefully these should come in soon. I think they grow about two to four feet every year. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure. We just looked it up not too long ago. Don't, don't quote me on that, please. But here's the trees that we planted. They're going to come in soon. We potted one for now because we're just not sure where we want to put it yet. Uh, once we figure that out, we're going to put them right in the ground. Right in the roots. But here it is. Here's all of our little trees. Beautiful. This thing doesn't belong to us. This satellite thing belongs to the neighbors. Why it's here? <laughs> Don't ask me. I've been confused enough. Here's the baby enjoying the sunshine on his, on his lead. Love to get a fence though so he can be free. That would be wonderful, but until then, stray dog just ran through the yard yesterday. That was scary. <laughs> at a fence, that wouldn't happen. Look at this view. Look at that view looking up. I mean, there's nothing like it. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Please remember to subscribe because I do really appreciate your time.